Hey, this is Chuck Billy from Tessin, and I'm blowing it up. I'm blowing it up. I'm blowing up. On Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos TV. Uh, how are you doing, uh, Lord Ariman? I'm doing pretty all right, thank you. And uh, you must be excited that the uh, the new album is out, right? We are the Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah it's and, been a long road, but finally it's uh, it's out, and and, uh, and uh, yeah, we can get um, back to. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and we can get get back to you know being really busy again. It's Talk good. a little bit. Talk a little bit about the effect of writing a record during a pandemic and the the pros and cons of doing so. Well, uh, in all honesty, the pandemic haven't really, you know, affected the songwriting process whatsoever, because uh, already before the pandemic, uh, you know, closed down the whole world. Plan was to. Uh, resume, you know, and totally focus on on uh, finish uh, writing this record. So, uh, I mean, it, you know, time wise, uh, it worked out good for us because uh, we had kind of told our booking agency to to not book any more tours and shows for us, uh, except for the few ones we had confirmed. Um, so, yeah. So the timing was good, but of course it's. Uh, been a strange time anyway, you know. Uh, yeah, out of the pandemic and into a possible world war with uh, with your neighbor. Talk a little bit about the darkness and hopelessness uh, one must feel in this predicament. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you are in Sweden. You are next door to Russia, right? Yeah. Uh, there must be some... It's been almost two months now. What is the general feeling uh, in Sweden uh, with what is going on right next door to you? And what is your feeling? Uh, how, do, you, do you have a sense of fear, uh, despair? Uh, there must be, I mean, obviously, I, I live in America. We don't experience anything like what European, Europe has experienced, or even the Middle East, for that matter. So, it must uh, must weigh on your consciousness or whatnot. Well, the, the the first thing that struck me is like, is this really happening in 2022? It feels like a fucking K man is back in business. Didn't the the world progress more than this? You know, fighting over territories like this for for whatever reason it feels like. There's no, nothing to win. I mean, now Russia got the whole world against them. Uh, and uh, it's just a, just a sad situation. And, uh, and I, I mean, we, we used to tour in, in uh, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, so I have lots of friends there. And I, I, I talked to some of them over this time. And no one in our generation can understand what's going on in, in this old... Uh, people's mind you know uh, yeah it's, it's strange times indeed indeed and we were actually planning you know uh, another uh, russian tour and, and uh, ukraine tour because normally we do both russia and ukraine at the same time uh, same booking agency and uh, yeah well i guess we won't be playing there in, a, in quite some time or ever again and uh, which dark funeral songs uh, best describe the current situation in the world? Uh, that's uh, I don't know really. I mean, uh, it's, it's you know depending on on what mood you are in, you know, different song can uh, attract you from from our catalog. So. Uh, Uh, what yeah. do you miss? I'm sorry, but what do you miss about the lockdown? Uh, as there are pros and cons to almost anything. Uh, well, the 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 first thing that uh, uh, that I come to realize is uh, it's going to 
maybe take quite some time to get used to being around a lot of people again. <laughs> uh, you know, when, when you're living a life like us uh, on a constant, you know, move, traveling, you know, all the time, people around you all the time, and uh, to suddenly everything is just, you're just by yourself basically with your family. And, uh, and then sort of socializing with people, just, I mean, it just to, to go downtown. And so, uh, norm, I, I used to live downtown in Stockholm, but uh, I moved a, a little bit just outside the city at the moment. So when I go into the, to the city now, it's like, yeah, I realize it's going to take some time to get used to people, you know. Yeah, indeed. I, I work uh, for a local promoter in San Francisco. And uh, I work at some venues, and uh, it's just within the last week uh, that uh, masks have been optional. Uh, so I've been working with people for six months. I've only seen half of their face. Oh, well, we haven't really had those kind of restrictions here in, in Sweden. And at the moment, uh, all restrictions are gone. So concerts are back, uh, you know. People are living life, you know, everything is, well, it, it's not back to normal, but uh, there's no more restriction at the moment, at least. Uh, for the last two records, the title track has been the last one. Has it made tracking any easier? Uh, no, it's always uh, a challenge to, you know, to write a record. Uh, but, fun, uh, you know, funny you mentioned that. Uh, because those two songs are also the last songs I wrote for each of the, the last two records. And uh, they uh, ended up uh, as a title track too. Just a coincidence. Yeah, uh, no, I, I didn't think about it until you mentioned it now. And I, when I heard it, I was like, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, many bands have been. I know the, the 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 big talk about in the music industry is the the death of the drummer of a rock band, uh, Foo Fighters. Many bands have been caught up in drugs and alcohol. Has there been a time where it has ruled you and the band? Uh, well, I don't really like to go into that, but uh, yeah, we we had that problem in the band. Uh, personally, I've never been um, been into drugs whatsoever. I ne never really understood the point. Uh, I used to get heavily drunk you know, when I was younger. Now I have been sober for nearly 15 years, maybe. Uh, I don't smoke. Uh, I don't do, do nicotine. I, I don't do anything. Uh, but uh, there, there's been some person that uh, that have uh, had have a problem with that. Uh, but that's also why they're not part of the band anymore. Because they, they could, yeah, they just couldn't deal with it. No, no, no. I, I, I myself don't drink uh, or use drugs either. Uh, I have not drank for several years myself. Uh, I know that uh, when you are in that world, that you know, one or two days seems like a lifetime. But the reality is, when you stop it. It's relatively easy when you actually do it. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I kind of feel like I, I have enough, uh, you know, speaking for myself only, you know, I have enough of, uh, you know, demons within myself and, and to boost them with an uh, alcohol or other substances is, uh, it's like, I can't really handle it. It is, it's enough just the way it is, you know, so, sure. uh, I, I, I deal with everything much better. Uh, Staying clean. I'm more uh, focused on, uh, yeah, it's better for me. Yeah, it's always nice to see people that we admire or our friends. I know that uh, uh, Gary Holt from Exodus recently became sober, and it, it's uh, it's always fun to see people, like I said, that we admire or maybe friends. Uh, you know, how maybe come to the on the bright side of life. Well, some people can handle it, some people can't, uh, you know, it's this, uh, you know, but, uh, but I feel like, you know, I've been, been in this business for a long time, uh, and I see how much, uh, uh, 
drugs and alcohol destroy people and bands. Uh, so uh, I can't see any, any good with it, you know. Uh, but that, that's my experience, you know. For everybody have their own take of it. Uh, but I've heard also band and people say to me over the years, you know, we don't have that problem. We can party and have fun in our band. And there's never any, then one week later, the band is no more. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's kind of easy things to just get rid of if you want to try and, and, and focus on, on the band and keep a good chemistry within the band. Uh, how, would, how would you describe the band and the chemistry and relationships between... Uh, uh, you and the rest of the guys in Dark Funeral? Yeah, I think uh, we're on a really good spot at the moment. Uh, you know, everybody have been around for, you know, in, in different bands of, for, for a long time. Everybody have a good, you know, long experience uh, in the scene. And, and uh, they're like me. Uh, of course, now I'm, I'm the only one who don't drink in the band, but everybody knows that... Uh, what that kind of stuff do to bands and uh, that it uh, doesn't really make any positive effects to bands. So, uh, you know, everybody have learned uh, by experience and we talk uh, about things all the time, how we can make sure that uh, we, we can keep the chemistry, you know, really good in the band. Uh, and, and so everybody's focused and we are there to help and support each other all the time. So. I mean, life is uh, hard as it is, uh, so it's good to, you know, to have a band when everybody is on the same page on, on certain stuff. And, and Communi- as I said, focused. Communica- communication is key. Yeah, uh, I, I learned, uh, learned that myself. Sometimes I, you know, I'm not perfect myself, but, uh, but I learned that. Sometimes, when, I mean, I come from the north part of Sweden. We usually don't talk about those kind of stuff. But, uh, but I realize, you know, being a band leader and stuff like that. And also, sometimes I haven't seen what's been going on uh, around me. Uh, so, so I kind of learn myself that it's better I, I check in and, you know, open a discussion about certain stuff. And, you know, just to touch base and, and see where everybody's at and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm still learning how to deal with life and, and you know, things like, like that myself. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, is there any concrete plans to come to America anytime soon? Uh, yes, hopefully before the end of the year. Uh, we're waiting for, for the final uh, call, basically. Uh, but uh, we have a lot of plans for, for the U.S., not just one tour. We have a few tours in, in plans already, uh, oh. besides, besides the rest of the world. But we felt like, you know, already after the last U.S. tour, we, we all said that uh, we all really enjoyed touring the U.S. the last couple of times. I mean, it, it's always been good, but the last, at least the last two tours was, uh, was really good for us. The support was amazing. and, and uh, yeah, things just work, uh, worked out really good. So it felt like we just want to focus a little bit more on, on the U.S. in the future. And uh, now I have a new booking agency, uh, bigger than before. And uh, uh, yeah, we're just making lots of plans for the U.S. together with them. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, we, we have a few tours actually in discussion at the moment. Great. Well, look forward to it. I think the last time I saw you was with uh, Belfagor. Was that the last U.S. tour? Uh, that's correct. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which, in which order all the tours have been. But yeah, that was the last one. Good. Well, we look forward to another tour package like that again. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, uh, talk about the new album or life in general? Uh, or at least, uh, you know, um, any possible advice that you'd like to give to any uh, up-and-coming or new black metal bands? Uh, well, work hard. That is, you know, uh, sometimes I feel when I talk to, to younger bands, they are take things for granted. Uh, and uh, 
some people think you know it's it's luxury to go on tour you know first tour and things like that and uh, normally i'll tell these people when they come with the really high expectation how it is but like well if, if you think that's the way tour life is then you just better quit right away because you're going to be so disappointed uh and uh yeah i, I think uh yeah, you just need to have the, the the passion at the right place, very hard dedication, and uh, a strong will to, to get in, into this uh, world. All right, well, That's thank you. Advice. Oh, that, that is very good advice, yeah. Uh, develop a, a work ethic of sorts. Yeah, and I never take anything for granted. Just realize that you, you have to work 24-7. It doesn't matter how big... Uh, big you are you know uh the bigger the band you get you know the more work it is you always got to keep working on 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 everything and it's uh for for me it's like you know this is my life so so i work seven days a week 24 7 basically so i never hardly ever you know take it easy um but that's what you got to do you know 